Okay, so, uh, hmm. Give the log. Let's see what happens. Uh, that, that's probably what it is. It, it, yeah, there you go. Boom, boom. <laughs> Waiting for it to go boom. <laughs> it didn't go boom. I keep getting that. You gotta really keep the cool wagons out of sight most of the time, and it's like, miss that. We destroyed them. Probably it came at a cost, though. Alright, oh, still in line of sight. Okay, well, that was not good. Okay. <laughs> that was. Got you all on the screen. Amazing. Like that was gonna scroll off for sure. Let's have a look. Um, uh, and I lost another scout. Yeah, well, I'm not sure where that was. Uh, that was probably in the middle. Um, let's have a look here. Probably another scout lost there. Yeah. Missed that during, during the replay. Um, Okay, well, uh, uh, <laughs> firing at those weapon troop is probably not a good idea. Um, they deliver, I mean, because they're carrying a 50mm mortar with them, it's kind of <laughs> not a lethal. Really, um, and then we actually destroyed another one here. This was quite a bad exchange. Uh, Shitson took one casualty. That was the first one, actually. Um, all right. Well, uh, let's have a look uh, at suppression. Sure, there's a few. Check the formation leaders first. Okay, well, they actually moved in there. Um, not sure. Hmm. Okay, well, there's nothing in the log about that. I'm gonna have to look at that in a minute. I don't, I don't think I'll. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, so we'll, we'll leave them for the moment. Um, let's rally him. Okay, he's rallied. Um, uh, it's another, one of, another one of those battles where I just can't wait for the end. <laughs> it's going next. It's going downhill fairly rapidly at this point. Um, well. It is more interesting than the other ones so far. Um, my losses will be con con considerably higher, I think. He's still suppressed. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, he managed to rally this time. So he can actually move. I don't know what good is going to do me. Um, I'll have to figure out something to do with it. Um, they are okay. They are not. Let's see. Um, Yeah, he should really. Okay. Let's get at least allow him to move. Um, I can't. One of those things, I left them in the open and then at the end, after the turn was over, it's like, ah, shit. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite amazed they're still alive. I mean, because he was firing an anti tank rifle at it. Um, well, let's see if we can figure out what that range was. Um, that might explain why, uh, why I kept missing. <clears throat> Quite a short range weapon, and this there's, there's no explosive on him. It's a solid shot weapon. Um, strictly kinetic energy, so um, there's, there's no... He has to make a hole, and... 
it just makes a hole with a really a lot of energy, um, which is generally enough to blow things up without actually using explosives. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now the problem here is there's another there's a gun of year which does not have HE, I checked. I actually, I usually say I'm, I should check that in the, uh, I should check that when, I, when I'm between turns to see if I can figure out what to do, and I actually did this time. <laughs> it's quite shocking. Yeah. Okay, let's try rallying. Yeah. Didn't take any more casualties, so. Must be firing direct at them. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Uh, let's see if I can rally. It's pinned. Might be able to, might be able to rally him again if I can bring in these four. That's okay. He is okay. Some of that was from earlier, I think. I don't. I don't think that was in the current turn. Four is okay. I suppose it'll be nice to have it a little lower, but it's a waste of a point. Um, anything below five is not. Anything well, five and below. Anything below six is not worthwhile wasting a rally points on it. You're not really going to gain much. But you always feel like you would. <laughs> Feel like you should, right? I mean, well, well, we'll see. Maybe we can still rally them. Uh, now starting out a little bit suppressed is not really a good thing, but rally points may be more useful later on. So the question is that it, it can't. There was an anti-tank, uh, two-pounder anti-tank gun here. It can't move on its own. 
Um, so in this case is, is, is something's been moved in to try and to come and pick it up, in which case there's now a machine gun in the same hex. Because I, I, I have a doubt that I was not seen. Um, I always think I'm not seen. <laughs> well, I don't, oh, I don't, I should correction, I don't always think that. But in most cases it's not obvious that I've been seen. And in, I think in most cases I probably have been seen. I should always assume that I've been seen. So in this case I'm going to assume I've been seen. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be something else in there now as well. Because the anti-tank gun is not capable of defending itself against infantry. Um, since it doesn't have any HE rounds. Um, which would be unusual for it to be on its own, right? One would expect there to be machine guns somewhere. Possibly. More likely on that side, perhaps? I don't really have line of sight, and my scouts are being slaughtered left and right. It's fine if I do it to the, to the enemy, but they're not supposed to do it to me. <laughs> it's not fair, damn it. <laughs> okay, we checked with that one already, and nothing else was seen. Um, this one could see something. He's still pinned. Let's try rallying him, see if he will... Okay. Um, it's a little better. Let's go around. Um, now somebody moved up here, and we basically took them out. This is the one that was destroyed. Um, No, that's not it. Um, oh, okay, there was two of them there. It's different different uh, sections fired at them. Not sure who that could have been. Um, is he able to see? It might have been him, because he wouldn't have been able to see. Yes, he might have, could have been him as well. Um, but also, uh, what something I want to look at was um, okay, that was a light mortar bombardment, which means it was called in by our indirect. Um, it was called in as artillery. Um, which, which is odd because the reason I'm, I'm, I'm kind of raising an eyebrow is because, well, I guess he predicted that I would move into that hex. Sure how he could have done that. I mean, I, well, more likely would I would have moved here. Actually, he might have hit. Was maybe planned to hit both of them. Um, don't know. Um, okay, so we really can't move up through here because scouts were being killed very quickly. Um, see that and we can see that so we have an opportunity here um, don't really want to move these guys forward ideally I'd prefer to move them back this way but so right now it looks like these are the this platoon is what I'm gonna try and use to uh, take control of this side of the hill um, I, I think I need two platoons to do it. <laughs> The uh, South Victory X is a loss to me. I do not do not have anything that could get close to it now. Um, and I think I might as well give up on these ones as well. Uh, I mean, these one, these guys are more likely to... They could keep pushing this way, but that would be more of a, of a distraction for the enemy. Um, I doubt it. I mean, we're on turn 10. Well, we'll go. We'll go for it, but I mean, I don't... I doubt we can get close enough. Uh, I would need a lot more time. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, but the, the way I play, which is not gonna. It will. It just takes long for me to do everything. Very long. So. Uh, so actually, they're in a, under in the line of sight of three different. No, two. Two different units. I could bring this one in here, because we know there's nothing in here. And... Hmm. Okay, 
also possibilities. Let's look around. Did I look around with him already? Yeah, I think I did. Just do it again, just in case. I can't see anything that way anyway because of the smoke. Okay, so possibilities of no possibilities here. Um, anyway. Now these guys have to move. I mean there's no way they can stay here because of those annoying things called British mortars. Um, it's not annoying when I use them. <laughs> well, we should have... I'm trying to think how we could, how we could arrange this so that we... You know, my opponent doesn't get anything. <laughs> Only shows up with an A zero unit. Yeah, that's it. He'd probably still beat me. <laughs> okay, you get an A zero unit. He ends up slaughtering me anyway. Uh, okay, so we got a lot of uh, armor here. Actually, what I'm going to do? I've decided I'm going to because this I don't. There's nothing this guy can do. Um, but there's nothing in here. I'm not sure why he was. Route, uh, why, why is he in route? I don't get it. Um, there was no assault. It's the only uh, spade troop that was uh, that was that was that was that was destroyed. Um, and I don't see it on the other side where they might have done an assault. Because all their weapons are turned off, so... I might, I might want to watch it just to figure that out. Is if he just moved in... Oh, oh, okay, and what he might have done... I'm not sure if that shows up in the log. He might have done... Um, uh, what do you call it? What does the game call it? Um, Overrun. Might have been an overrun attack, which, which actually makes sense for an army needed to do that. Um, I've never ever used it myself because <laughs> I've never ever been in the position where I had armor that was completely um, not at risk um, from other infantry. That's so must be, my, my opponent must be having such a blast to not be, being able to do all kinds of shit you can never get away with against an experienced opponent. <laughs> oh, so that's how that works if the guy can't fire back. Um, okay, so if he would, if if a tank moves in there.
rally him. Will, will he rally though? Well, we can try. I mean, he's pinned now. If I can rally him again, I mean, maybe we'll see something around him. not in there. Why is that not in there? <clears throat> Let's actually look at the file. Yeah, well, uh, the, the burn carrier anti-tank was firing at the Kubelwagen at 10 hexes, which I, I believe is the maximum range. Uh, it fired... well, uh, it could have been different ones. Could have been different ones, but uh, they're all at 10 hexes, which is kind of odd. But never gone above 11 percent. Uh, no, the last one was at 50. Oh, okay, it was only the Bren. It was only the Bren carrier anti tank that was firing at it. Which means we should be seeing it somewhere. Ten hexes. Um. You must have pulled him back. It's not in li his line of sight, so he didn't see that. Um, yeah, it came, so it couldn't have been in that hex, it couldn't have been the... Okay, the rifle section is still there. that again because um, there's, I only see one brain carry anti-tank weapon in line of sight. Um, 
problem is, uh, it's kind of weird that nobody. It's got to be that. It's got to be that one. I can't see how it could be anything else. Um, that means I can't, don't know how I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, it's such a it's such a long range that it's gonna be tricky to figure out which one it was, where it came from. See down here. You can't see that way. Okay, it might uh, it might be behind here then. Um, okay, so we might want to figure that out. But I'm gonna look. I'm gonna watch the replay again anyway. Just see if I get an idea which, which direction that came from. Yeah, yeah, it definitely came from that side. This one, that to that side. Um, yeah. Okay. We might have something to consider. Uh, what really, what the other thing that's worrying me is I only see the one cruiser tank. No idea where the other one is at the moment. Let's see if he will rally again. Probably not. If he can't, then he's pinned here, and that basically is done. Well, oh, he's still stuck here. He's still done. <laughs> but uh, me may be a little bit more capable of spotting something useful now. Um, look around again. All right. Well, uh, I think we're just gonna go for it here. Um, there's a few things that we can do. And, Fairly obvious, but quite risky. So, I'm gonna risk moving him here, um, and we'll find out what the hell we run into. Because I, I'm, I'm betting this the anti-tank gun is no no longer by itself in that hex, simply because, well, apart from the fact, even if he didn't see me here, but like he, he might, if he doesn't have a unit around in this area that saw this this guy's moving up here. Um, and for whatever reason didn't attack, like if it was just a scout or something, then, um, I mean, these guys would have been able to see it, which actually they can't anymore. They cannot see it anymore, so I'm guessing it's been moved. Um, I don't know. I don't know that if uh, if uh, something like that would disappear, because it's got to be bigger than a, than size one, which means that it's very likely to be spotted. Um, so wh whatever I'm, wh if I move in here, whatever's going to happen is going going to these guys are going to take a hit. Because <laughs> the only reason I can think we can't see it is because. It's, it's, it's a number of possibilities I, uh, that it's been moved. Um, and a brain carrier came in, picked it up and moved back, uh, moved out of there, because these, these were in line of sight, and that's no longer a useful position for it. Um, 
Well, for some reason, it's actually a size one unit, and I, I just lost sight of it because they became suppressed and it was. So it could still be there, but we won't know until we move in. But, if, but another possibility is there's actually an infantry squad in here now. <laughs> so when I move up, they take a hit. Um, there's nothing on this side, so. Uh, I think we can. We would be able to see over here. Can't see into those trees, so I think that applies to that one as well. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just find out. And it's been moved. All right. Nope, it hasn't. Now let's have a look here. What size unit is this while we're here? Size one. Okay, that's why it's disappearing. Because uh, a size two unit wouldn't wouldn't disappear like that. Not at that range. All right, so, um... This ground... Cover, so why it's a difficult kill. Now there's a risk for this because I see two enemies so he can be attacked from that direction. He's retreating, so he might not be aware. Let's look around. volleys to get it. Uh, right, so now he's exposed to that. We should do something about it. Okay, let's move the scouts. Um, we're a bit out of position now. Actually, maybe not. Unfortunately not.
So, hmm, some scouts, these scouts can probably move up this side, I think. Uh, he's still pinned, so... Fired at by forward then this tank for sure will get a line of sight on him as will the brand karate tank so um Crowded on this hill. Um, Get him into the trees.
push him here. Let's see if anything... Um, there's nothing up top there. We don't know there's nothing here. Well, in theory. So... It's a good idea for him to stay there, so I'm gonna pull him back, but let's, let's get these guys out of the way. Okay, so he's there. Put him here. And now he's way out of position. He's gonna have to go out of contact for a while. I need him to move this way. Um, contact anymore. Uh, well, too bad. Uh, I can move this way and then behind these trees. Yeah. He has fairly narrow. Um, and then we'll move a couple of wagons up here. Clears, we'd actually get good, really good line of sight up to this point. But another possibility is actually put the uh, cool wagons back this side when the inf this infantry moves up a bit more. Okay, that scout didn't move, but that's, I guess it's all right. this turn. Um, right, so he moved. Uh, he has moved. Yep, okay. Probably will move those cool wagons back again. Uh, they're just too close to the action. <laughs> and trying to avoid that. Um, so, uh, let's see, let's go back here, something, we move forward. Look at this, 
freaking took what two turns to rally this motorcycle unit. And I could actually get control of them again. That's really bad. Um, one, thing, one thing I wish the game had had a little more fine control over what experience you're getting. It's just basically uh, you get a base number. That's it. <laughs> You know, if your base number is very low, then you'll get very inexperienced units. Nice if you get it, if, if that could be set. I mean, because that would be helpful for, say, a thousand point battle, but one of the players, such as myself, is not very experienced, so maybe we'll give them, give, it, give them troops that are, you know, plus 10, right? Um, or base experience of, you know, of 60 or something like that, rather than, uh, rather than 50. Um, 60 is supposed to be the common one, but they do get 50s occasionally, like as I have in the last few battles. And I'm not sure if I want to move all the way into there because, well, actually, if something's there, all we can do is move back again. All right. Well, in this case, something had moved up to that position already. <laughs> in which case, we have a really big problem. Um, okay, there's the there's the Baron Carriarty tank, which is actually not visible from there, not visible from there. So if I move a one hex further back, then it's just out of range. Um, so we could actually fire at the rifle section. That's risky, though. Um, nine hexes. Uh, that is risky. Because the <laughs> they, they could st <laughs> I, I've I've already seen it. I mean the, the rifles and and uh, like and uh, LMGs are able to destroy a couple of wagons. So um, yeah, well we'll see. Okay, so I brought those guys up. Uh, let's move these back. See that take a shot. suppression on them. Now, the question is whether they have, that is all there is. Thank you. 
have any smoke left, because that might be helpful. Uh, a few rounds of smoke in that area might get away. Nothing there. 20. Okay, so we can we have something we can use. Okay, only one of them has uh, a couple of well, possibly two full salvos left. Now, but the question is, is he in? He's in contact! Yay! <laughs> okay, after two ra two turns of not being in contact, damn random, random number generators. Um, all right, so um, they may just stay put for one turn, and we'll see how that works. I don't think that's good for them though, because they probably very likely. Um, If I leave them there, they're very like they could possibly be hit with mortar fire. But who knows? I mean, there's more critical targets, I think, for from the enemy's point of view. Um, I mean, there's a lot of infantry here that are really, really juicy targets. Um, so would it, would it would it matter? I mean, they're at least. <laughs> I, I was, I'd like to save them if I could. I mean, that's that's kind of how desperate I am. Um, just, yeah, I hold on to those last few points, right? Because <laughs> right now I'm losing seven points as opposed to 25, um, and I'm losing four points as opposed to 24. Um, so, I mean, that's that's how I'm looking at it. Um, They're not, they're not making my chef to move, so uh, maybe we'll just use these as bait. Let's see what we get. Okay, well... Okay, so there's units up here. Um, Alright, well... So, my... I would have been better off not moving, right? So in that case, I'm going to leave him there. Eh, I lose the entire platoon. Even worse than last time. <laughs> uh, well. Oh well. Oh well. It's it's not as it's not so bad. It's just that I the, being outnumbered, losing an entire platoon is is really really diff makes it much so much more difficult for myself. Um, that's why I play cautiously, but it's because the game isn't designed for you to play cautiously and still achieve anything. Um, the game doesn't work that way. I mean, it's just not how you can't actually gain. You can never gain victory axes by being by being too cautious. So uh, how to how to balance that between, especially when you have a, a force that's that's seriously outnumbered? Um, don't know. I. I I guess it's just experience. We'll, we'll, we'll have to hope that that's all that is. Uh, these guys have to move. I mean, they can't stay here. So, uh, what I'm thinking is... Um, the question is where to go. I think so we don't have any indication of there's any units up here. Like, well, we know there's nobody there. We know there's nobody in front of us there, we know there's nobody in front of us here. So if he moves up, the most he could be attacked by is one. Oh no, not necessarily. There's a lot of um, 
possibilities that it could be LNG up on here, his line of sight, because the smoke's not that thick here. Um, so whoever moves forward will very likely uh, take a big hit. Problem here is, uh, he's not. This guy's not being covered by anybody, so I can't really move them. Um, yeah, so if something moves up here, yes, yeah, so we've got that covered. If something moves in here. I'd like to have something that can actually hit him. So I'm thinking probably it's better of leaving these guys here. Um, and let them get hit with mortar fire. Uh, that's the choice I've got. It's like, damned if I do, damned if I don't. <laughs> I just I just can't win. I mean, that's just how it is. I, this, well, you know, I can't even get a draw. <laughs> it's not about winning. Uh, play by emails in draw are not supposed to... Now they really won. I mean, they, most, in most cases they're draws, but in my case, of course, because of the difference in, in level, uh, in of, of ability, it's always most of my my battles have been losses. So, um, okay. Well, let's think about that for a minute. There's two anti-tank weapons here. Um, it's that and that. Both of them are fairly nasty enough that I'm not too enthusiastic about taking them on. Um, I actually think that the heavy machine guns need to move back. Um, the problem is there's another height one. There's really wacky height one things in the middle of, of this open field here. Which makes it not an open field, right? So, but there's no cover. Uh, the height one provides no cover. It's just line blocks line of sight. So, yeah, positioning anything over here is not likely to gain you very much because you're not really going to be able to see across here. And I know these units moving up on this side now. So, I wonder if any of these guys spotted that. I doubt it. See that too far away. All right. Well, let me see. There's two there. That's the only ones. Didn't spot any of that guy's firing. Well, that is annoying. It's just too far away. All right. Well. If I move this tank into that hex, that's the only... Well, apparently, well, there'd be a tank here. I mean, if there's a tank here, I think we'd see it. Um, okay, well, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to pull them back because... They, they don't have a good field of fire here, so I, I'm going to try and find a better position for them. So for now, we're going to pull him back there, I think. And we're going to put this tank in here. And see how shit this guy is. Line of sight. Okay, so it's a part. If there's another anti-tank, uh, brain carrier anti-tank, or the um, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm trying to figure out where I can leave him there for this turn.
Oh, for fuck's sake, can you fucking get a hit with the main gun? <laughs> oh, for... Oh, uh. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave him there for this turn so we can give him a shot. And he's destroyed. Yay! Save me for random number generators. <laughs> oh, you just had to take three shots to get that hit, right? The, uh, see, what is his experience? Um, 74. Uh, that's not terrible. I mean... 74 is not is not a bad experience. That, that that's, that's actually really quite good. That's really very good experience, so they really should have done them out better than that. Uh, what what is the armor come out? Armor come out is seventy four. Now my understanding is the higher this number, the better they are at doing tank shit. So, and I mean firing the main gun is serious tank shit. So they should have been okay. I don't get it. This is what I've been struggling with all the time. It's like I look at the numbers and I'm thinking, well, this, these guys are okay. They should be fine. They, they why why did it take three shots? Because was because I moved into one hex, I guess. I, <laughs> other times you can take a tank that's got a lot worse, worse numbers in it, move with one hex, and it works fine. It's like a uh, little bit consistency, maybe. Or is it just the random number generators messing me up these days? That's I, I'll go with that explanation because, frankly, it is a bit frustrating. <laughs> oh well, that's the name of the game, I guess. Um, all right, so I can I'm gonna leave that there. But I need to bring this other tank up to that position, I think. It's not enough, though. Um, because uh, he's got a very limited line of sight there. Um, I'm fairly certain this will actually fire at me, um, at the infantry, if I take any action against it, so... Um, okay, so plan is to move the heavy machine aside. I don't, this, I don't see any point in leaving them here. They really can't do much good. Um, they can't see all the way across to this side. The question is, where would they go? I, uh, so we need, they're needed over here. Um, I need it over here now. I, I need to be able to see. I need. To, I need them to be able to see this side, but I don't see any positions that will allow that. Uh, they may. They may be. Possible is up here. So we'll we'll check that out with the observer team. Um, I don't think there's anything I else want to do here. I'm gonna leave him because obviously they have ranges set very long here. Like they they have actually probably have them as a target. So uh, that's why. I mean, just waiting for me to move, right? And I and I like an idiot did I I moved. Now well, yeah, I I. Should I? I mean, next time, uh, next time I'll, I have that choice, I'm going to not move. And you'll see, mortars will land on me. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, fucking hell. Uh, okay. I'm gonna move the scout. Next time, I'll, if I move him, he may see. I think a radio contact will stick. I don't think it'll change. That's a, I think that check is done at the beginning of the turn. So that's a bit of a gamble. Um, now I only have one tube. I only I have four smoke, which I could deploy there and there. So maybe smoke here that would force them to move. Okay. Let's do that now before we move. Or do I want to hit something else? Um, 
actually, I think this is the one that has 20, right? Uh, there? Okay, that's there. That's arriving right away. Uh, we can't see that anymore. That one we can cancel. Okay, it doesn't have any more smoke. Um, so that's not what I want. I don't know if they're still there. They probably are, and I probably should drop artillery on them anyway. Um, which means I can't use that one for smoke. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that, that's gonna arrive right now. Okay. Okay, what to do next? Um, Let's leave him there. We'll move. We'll we'll move him right after we deploy artillery. These guys still have to move. Um, so that last shot was. come from there. He's too, he's too uh, suppressed to notice what's going on now. Alright, so... They're pinned, but I think they still fired. Um, What else am I trying to do here? Uh, brain's getting a bit foggy. Um, the chances of pulling this off? <laughs> uh, am I desperate enough? Oh, 
he's starting out suppressed. He's got a 44% chance, but that's for uh, firing at it. Um, if he was, if the assault will be a lot lower than that. Well, while we think about that, um, what might be better is just to have him wait. The chances are he's been, he's been seen now, right? So, because he's not so. I don't know. Some things are hard to, hard to predict in the game. Um, actually had a line of sight of both of them, so... Um, will it opportunity fire? Probably. Try it. Should I try it? Um, I mean, the reason he's moved us up here is so that he can shoot at them if they if they do anything, right? Um, but I don't think he's seen this unit. Um, I don't know. I, I, the log is maybe a bit off. I don't. It, I don't know if it tells you when it does an overrun. Um, because that's... Uh, I've, I've never have done it. <laughs> uh, nope. So there's nothing, nothing about an overrun in, the, in there. Um, from that caused an opportunity fire from there Well, if it came from... 
those bushes, then they can't actually hit him again. to retreat. I doubt it. I don't know. Was that worth it? I guess it was. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the scout's worth 11 points. Um, the friend carrier is probably worth a lot more than that. So, well, maybe probably. Well, actually, they're not that valuable, isn't it? They're only 15 or 16 points, I think. So, I guess it's about an even trade then, because uh, it's going to get taken out the next turn for sure. Um, and he's pinned. Um, so, if I actually. Turn off of his weapons and set his range to zero. Maybe he'll survive, I doubt it. Desperate times, right? Um, okay, so next. Um, gotta move the tank up here. Uh, still not good enough. Not happy with that because. I can't leave this tank in that position because um, there's nothing covering it. Like, that position doesn't work. Because you can only see that light roll of hexes there. Um, that is actually out of line of sight of that tank, so possibility is to move this one up there. But, <laughs> or actually move them out of the way again. Um, so if I did that next turn, then we might actually be able to... Um, yeah, so let's move these guys out of the way. Uh, don't know where they can go, though, that's the problem. Um, it's just not useful high ground here. Uh, heavy MGs, I... <laughs> Maybe it might, might have been better off with uh, LMGs, I guess? Uh, just looking at the map prob more properly. Um, why have I not learned these things? I, I, I'm not really not, really not doing myself any favors here. Um, He's, he's stuck, he doesn't have any movement left. Um, I don't want to leave him there. That's that's because he's. Uh, it's a possibility of that the other cruiser tank could move up on this side and take a shot at him, and then this one could move in from that side. Yeah, and this one could not be very suppressed very much, and then actually just move up. So then there'd be two units firing, and that'd be close enough. If he could rally that, so. Um, But the problem with that is I have to put him in that hex, right? Yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. And since I don't really know where to send this guy, I'm gonna leave him there for the moment. I, I really need I need some machine gun support over here. This is this is the problem, and I don't I'm not gonna be able to get it from there. Well, maybe a little bit, just judging by. See that one. But that's about it from that position. So I guess I'll leave that one there. Um, scouts will move out of that position next turn. So he should turn back that way. Yeah, if something comes up in that, if he advances to there, um, something would have to move pretty far forward. That's not too bad. I get a shot at him when he moves into that hex, I guess, assuming that's what happens. Um, I'm actually going to leave him there. They're going to get hit with mortars, I'm pretty sure of it. I don't know if we've done enough suppression on that guy to maybe get him to retreat. That would be really helpful. Um, I've done a bit of damage this turn, but I'm not really happy with anything here because <laughs> I just not it's not clear to me what I can do that makes sense like nothing I'm doing makes sense to me right I mean I'm just taking useless losses here and things like that so uh, I'm just trying stuff and sometimes it works but it doesn't make sense that I should do that I don't know I guess I'm just taking chances now um, situation seems a little bit desperate um, I think that's it. Now, artillery fire, we're gonna, there's a couple of things probably to do still. Um, we should call in artillery fire. He hasn't moved in a while, but I don't really have much I can drop on him. Um, right, so that there is where the enemy machine gun is, so... It's arriving right now, so let's not mess with it. Um, the, the cruiser's been standing there for a long time, and I've now just realized it's been standing there for a long time. I could have dropped mortars on it. Um, I'm not, I, I can't see anything on this side anymore. So we got nothing to hit there. Um, it's buttoned. It, was, it moved last turn. The only possibility is just drop mortars on that hex and that hex. Actually, let's put smoke in front of this one. Um, smoke from that one and there two don't know if they'll still be there but we'll try okay so now we're gonna move Okay, so that's pretty far away though. Um, it is a helpful position given a current situation, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, 
Now that 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 fired at maximum. It could move up to a year. Tank rifle, so um, I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, no, maybe not. Put these guys out of sight. I think possibility that they may be seen from that side. No. So, um, sickly movers, maneuvers working okay. I guess I don't think they're gonna be able to get any close to the victory axis, but I've only got six more turns, and there's bound to be lots of stuff. I'm, I'm thinking the mine, the engineers probably laid the mines a little closer to the side, um, so now we have a problem of figuring out where those are. There's bound to be mines. <laughs> My opponent always uses mines. It's logical to use mines if you can afford the extra engineers. Um, it's an easy and it's an easy way to drop down. It's, no, it's an easy way to drop down defenses without having to actually have extra units to take care of it. Um, so I'm guessing the mines would probably be here because that's because that, yeah, I can't see them and I'm. I'm just guessing. I mean, I based on past experience against them, which even I mean, he says he's had engineers. He does have engineers, so I don't see why you wouldn't have engineers up here. So I'm gonna go with this uh, the assumption that this mines up here. So I kind of expected them to be up around here, um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all right. So uh, anything else that looks like I should have done. Yeah. Problem with that is that they can't they can't actually fire at that anymore, so that's not terribly useful. Um, yeah. Well, they can't provide covering fire. I th I, nothing I can do. Um, I actually want to keep them alive. These guys are dead, no matter what I do. <laughs> it, it, it may take. If they die now. They die later. I mean. There's no, there's no place for them to go. It, possibly, uh, no, another, another possibility. In, I could have left them here. They might have stood a little bit of a chance, maybe. I don't know. Something's... Note to self, next time you have that choice, try the other option <laughs> instead of retreating. Um, it's all about... Uh, we're just here to learn. Keep reminding myself of that. We're just here to learn. Uh, you have to suck it up and <laughs> take, take the... Uh, Take the, the the losses that you're gonna get. Um, I think that's it. Let's check ranges and then we're done. Scout because that's probably why he didn't get. Um, I was 
was able to take the other scout out so easily. mind we also have um, these guys up here I just set their range to three So I think I'll just leave it at three. Yep. Covering covering that hex in case something moves in. And we'll leave that at three. Problem here <laughs> because this guy has a rather nasty Vickers machine gun on it, I think. Um, oh no, it isn't. Okay, that one is not a. Okay, hmm. Well, it might not be as bad then. Oh, well, uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm wishful thinking. Uh, where were we? Four hexes. Well, they give any position away, there's not much you can do about it. Um, you might as well, actually, now that they've given their position away, because they're hitting that, they can't actually hit anything else, except for that. Now, sometimes... The Infantry will fire back at tanks sometimes. Uh, actually, I don't think they will ever do it to, to tanks. It might be lighter, lighter um, armor. Um, I've seen it happen, so it obviously is not an impossible thing. Uh, which I'll, opportunity fire, you have no control over the unit. So, um, and we're gonna set his range back to zero. Let's see if he survives the onslaught from the uh, heavy machine gun that's up here somewhere. Yeah, and from the tank. So uh, he's not going to survive. He's a he's an ex scout. Um, Okay, 
time to turn his weapons off. Um, one more shot and he's dead. Well, <laughs> I suck. Repeat after me. You suck. <laughs> oh well. Imagine if Twitch's terms of service required that they'd be everybody who played the games and on stream had to be really, really good at them. <laughs> Imagine how many streamers they would have. Not many. Uh, three. Three's fine for that, I think. I'm hoping he hasn't been seen. Um, and we'll set this one back and say at ten. That at six, leave that at six. Um, it's not going to be able to fire anything at the moment. It's actually out of line of sight of a lot of stuff. Um, yep, because I've actually positioned him behind it. Because, you know, we got to bring carry anti tank unit here, and that's not healthy. We got lucky the last turn. So. We're gonna line of sight there until we actually have something for them to shoot at. That's a little bit more. Problem is, I don't have anything here that can see behind these positions. So moving moving forward doesn't really help. Um, well, maybe the smoke will clear and we'll actually get a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. Well, I was here, uh, 12 hexes. I was trying to figure out what their range should be. I just said he's ranged to zero. That's a bit limiting. Um, uh, six. Six. Okay, that's it. In the turn. There you go. Uh, you would have got hit with mortars anyway. Okay, so on to solo 